Pastor Keith here from Christ Lutheran Church, and I'm actually at Christ Lutheran Church this uh, for the morning prayer this Thursday, the 7th of July, 2022. Thought a change of venue might be good for all of us, including me. So, uh, Psalm 25, the first 10 verses. This will be the psalm that many of us will hear uh, this coming Sunday in church. A prayer for guidance and for deliverance. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Do not let me be put to shame. Do not let my enemies exalt over me. Do not let those who wait for you be put to shame. Let them be ashamed who are wantonly treacherous. Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all day long. Be mindful of your mercy, O Lord, and of your steadfast love, for they have been from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth or my transgressions. According to your steadfast love, remember me for your goodness sake. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble his way. All the paths of the Lord are steadfast love and faith, faithfulness for those who keep his covenant and his decrees. So, walking in the way of wisdom, seeking guidance, there's a theme there that I've been picking up on lately. We could probably do with a little more wisdom and guidance uh, in our world these days, couldn't we? A prayer for guidance from St. Thomas Akempis. Epule Kako. Write your blessed name, O Lord, upon my heart, there to remain so indelibly graven that no prosperity, no adversity, shall ever move me from your love. Be to me a strong tower of defense, a comforter in tribulation, a deliverer in distress, a very present help in trouble, and a guide to heaven through the many temptations and dangers of this life. Amen. And now may our wise and loving God, the Creator, the Redeemer, and the Sanctifier, grant you a measure of that divine wisdom and insight and guide you through this day and forever, safely and in peace. Amen.